why in this video today I've got a really amazing success story associated with a visual field loss patient. So I'll tell you about that in a minute, but first let's tell you how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, go to our website. There's lots of things you can do there. Read about what it is that we do. Specifically today, we're talking about visual fields. So although it's not exactly the same, you can go to our stroke and visual field loss page and read success stories there. I'd also encourage you to uh, maybe take a questionnaire or maybe it's time to make it take a quiz or maybe it's time to just schedule a consultation with me. All right, so now let's go into talking about this patient today. I'm going to share with you the visual fields from 2024 in March for this young patient who at the time that we have this first visual field is 13 years old. And this little patient had a kind of a rough go, uh, was diagnosed with a brain tumor, which was removed. And the result was that there was a loss of vision in multiple quadrants. So we're not talking about just one quadrant or a homonymous hemianopsia, which is what I talk about a lot, but instead we're talking about four quadrants of vision loss for this patient. And this is the, let's go like this. This is the right eye and this is the left eye. So in 2024, this is what it looked like. The left eye had four quadrant visual field loss there was also a four quadrant visual field loss for the right eye, but obviously you can see that's not quite as severe. So we have just started, in fact, this patient is having their very first phase two session today. So they've only gone through the first phase of treatment of our treatment protocol program, but we have a new visual field, which is pretty exciting that I want to share with you. So let's look at old visual field for the right eye and new visual field for the right eye as well. If you look at this and you compare, you can see there was a little bit of a loss of visual field up here, which is gone. If you look at this quadrant, you'll notice why right away that this was really pretty dark. And now there's actually some areas that look pretty normal, like what you see over here on this side. So this individual has some normal vision starting to pop up. And then this lighter gray area here will also um, continue to progress into being normalized vision. The only area that's like a really dense, dark defect still is right around in here and a little bit more on this outer corner, but we should see that start to shape up pretty fast. Probably within the next three to four months, we'll see a change with that. Now, if we look down here for the visual field on the lower quadrant, there's kind of some things that look a little bit different. So you might say, well, well, here looks, that looks like maybe there was an opening here. We don't necessarily see it there the same before. And that's true. Sometimes some things can shift around just a little bit. So if we see like an opening here, depending upon how the person was actually positioned in the machine when they take the visual field, whether they're positioned kind of like downward or upward too much, or maybe even tilted to one side or another, these areas can shift around a little bit. So it is possible that this little opening here corresponds to this opening here right now. And maybe this right here corresponds to some opening that we see up here. It can shift up and down just a smidge. Again, it depends on placement. So placement in the machine whenever you're doing a test is super important. So let's take a look um, at the other eye, but I guess before I finish that, let's look here because there was some field loss here. You can see that's lightened up and getting better. And in general, besides this one little area that's kind of questionable, like, wow, where did that go? What happened? We can see that there seems to be a change overall in this lower quadrant too. Now let's take a look at the opposite eye, which the opposite eye is the left eye. And the left eye, just as a reminder before, this is what it looked like. There were four quadrants of visual field defect. And then let's look at the new left eye. We'll see some things here too, again, that will kind of look like, oh my goodness, wow, what a huge change. And then, oh my goodness, what happened? So let's look with this first. So this is the last old one in March. This is the brand new one. 
you just look at it really fast, the first thing that you notice is there's a lot of normal vision happening up at this upper quadrant on this side and this side. So covering two quadrants. So really the superior visual field space all in all. And if we look over here on this side and this area here, that's a lot of improvement. We've got a few little outliers here of is that vision loss or did the person just blink and happen to miss something? And that can happen with these tests too. So let's take a look at the lower quadrant. We have one of those cases here with the lower quadrant, which was similar to the other one of what happened? Did it shift? Did something, did something go on? It's possible that once again, what we see here as this is the brand new one, it does not right here look the same as what we noticed there. It doesn't mean that the person is losing visual field in that spot. I have the suspicion based on the other one, the person was positioned incorrectly up or down for the test. And this is kind of a young guy. This is a young kid. So um, in doing that, he was um, initially 13 years old and now the individual is 14 years old. So it's possible that a placement issue can cause this to kind of shift and look like it doesn't look quite the same. But what we do is we want to take overall, how does the overall picture look? Overall, the picture looks like there's more and more normal vision showing up. There's more and more lighter gray areas that are popping up, which indicate those will next be normal completely. And there's less and less completely black areas. So if we want to just generalize between both eyes, the left eye and the right eye, we see a pretty significant amount of improvement overall for each of those eyes. And therefore, we've got a, a happy, happy me <laughs> as the doctor. The therapist is getting ready to somewhat take over and start working with them more so in phase two. We've got a mom who's super excited. And of course, this young child who lost some, some you know, significant amount of vision. Just imagine being this age at 12, 13, 14 years old and losing vision and how it affects things like your just everyday life, being in school, playing sports, if you were a person who played sports, you know, riding a bike, just doing normal kids stuff. And so if we are able to recuperate and recover the larger portion of this visual field loss, which based on these visual fields, well, let me tell you about that, but I think we can. Um, imagine what that would be like. So let's look at this and say, okay, well, what do we anticipate now with this new change in visual field? So based on this, from what I see before and what I'm seeing now, I anticipate within the next three to four months, we're going to see a very large portion of this visual field right here completely go all the way back to normal. I think that we will see it look like a flip-flop where this starts to look more like this Maybe we have like a little outlier up here in this corner. And then I think that the flip-flop will almost be like this. So that this lower quadrant now will start looking more like this upper quadrant, which will mean in three to four months, if that's correct, if I'm predicting accurately for this right eye, and we see almost all normal vision here, but maybe a little bit here, and this part looks like now it's down here, then that would mean this lower quadrant would recover also. Can we recover up to about 80 to 90% of this vision? I'm real hopeful and I'm thinking that's gonna be the case. So let's look over here at the left eye. What do we see about this one? Just based on like prior, um, sorry, prior results versus what we see now for the results, okay? So if we're looking at that, this new one, well, we're going to see all of that recover. I think we're gonna see all of this recover sometime within the next couple of months. We may again have a little outlier of something over here out to this far extreme. And then if we look at these two quadrants, I think they're going to start both of them looking more like this. So we're going to see more space open up down here around this zone, around this zone, because remember, this is that odd one. Now I flip flopped where I'm holding them, but it looks like this before. And so you know, why did it look that way? Well, I think that's going to open back up. This will open back up and we're going to have kind of this sort of appearance here in these two lower quadrants. So within the next three to four months, I expect and anticipate seeing pretty big change for this young patient, which makes me super happy. Um, 
just again to be able to help him to get back to some of the things that are normal in his life with school and playing sports and different things like that. Uh, we are uh, very excited. And you know, this sort of scenario also happens for older patients and adult patients. Um, so we get patients, you know, super, super young. Um, so a couple of years old sometimes when they've had visual field loss and then on the upper end, really there's no, you know, limit, limit or barrier there. We can see elderly patients have these problems as well and they can get good results also. So if you're wondering, wow, you have had visual field loss, your child, your spouse, you know, maybe a sibling or a parent or someone that you know who's just a friend has had visual field loss. Well, there's a couple of steps to take next. Get them to schedule a consultation or give us a call at our office, 618-288-1489, or go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. And um, for you, um, in addition to passing the video on and getting them to take the next step, we'd ask for you to please subscribe or like this video as well if you haven't done that already. And, you know, be thinking, is there also someone else in your realm of people that you know? Um, strokes are becoming a thing that are a little bit more common. Certainly in this case of like a brain tumor, it can cause visual field loss. So can things like just a traumatic brain injury without a stroke, without a tumor, they can cause the result of a loss of vision. And so there are a lot of different patients that sometimes we don't even realize are being affected by loss of vision. Glaucoma can also cause it. Macular degeneration can also cause it. And there are things that we can do with those patients to help them recover their vision as well. So passing this video on to someone that you know who falls in any of those categories really could be something that could be life altering, like what we're starting to see for this young man. Thank you.